Hi everyone. About four weeks ago, the coronavirus spread beyond China with cases reported in Italy and Iran. That was really the trigger point for a response from Wall Street and Western governments. A lot has happened since then, including a rapid flight to safety. That generated a stock market correction and drove the 10-year treasury to an all-time low. In response to the severe market volatility, the Federal Reserve has made two significant surprise rate cuts that committed over $1.7 trillion to backstop market liquidity. The Federal Reserve has been very decisive, making significant movements to stem the tide of fear and uncertainty. Their first surprise cut on March 3rd was a 50 basis point rate cut. And at the same time, the Fed also committed $1 trillion to ensure banks could maintain overnight lending liquidity. This was important because during the fiscal crisis back in 2008 and 2009, overnight lending locked up. The Fed learned from that and committed significant capital to make sure it's not a problem this time. The Fed's second surprise rate cut was on Sunday, March 15th. That was a 100 basis point reduction in the overnight rate, and it took the Fed funds rate back down to between 0 and 0.25%, which is where it was for much of the recovery from the Great Recession. In addition, the Federal Reserve committed another $700 billion to quantitative easing, and they'll use that to purchase treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Now, interestingly, both of the surprise rate cuts were followed by a significant stock market drop. The 12% decline on Monday, March 16th was the biggest percentage decline since Black Monday in 1987. But the stock market has been exceptionally volatile in recent weeks. The volatility index, or the VIX, has risen to its highest level on record, surpassing the surge that came following the Lehman Brothers collapse at the onset of the last recession. But what's all this mean for commercial real estate? First, the Fed is being very decisive and very aggressive. They're taking exaggerated action to both send a clear signal to markets and to shore up liquidity. Second, these steps should ensure that funding is available for borrowers. That includes investors buying real estate, small businesses that are trying to cover corona-driven shortfalls, and other companies that may hit a shortage during this period of instability. Third, the quantitative easing where the Fed buys treasuries and mortgage-backed securities will help keep interest rates low and ensure there is a market for government issuances. Maintaining market liquidity will ensure investors can get funding and lending to buy and sell real estate. It will also shore up confidence, reducing the fear and uncertainty that causes investor activity to lock up. So in wrap up, we're still in the early stages of very unsettling times. Aside from the health risks of the spreading coronavirus and the social issues we're all contending with, we're navigating dramatic uncertainty and market turbulence. But the action by the Fed is a key step in sustaining the overall economy and keeping the investment market liquid. Finally, I want to encourage everyone to keep your eyes on the horizon. 